Now, this is the nymph I'm going to be tying. This is a great wee fly. It's a small jig head. Uh, it's very good for grailing uh, as well, good for brown trout as well. But it certainly was a great fly for me the other night. Um, so I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's quite a simple uh, pattern to tie, mainly tied with a dyed CDC. There's not much to the fly, so. But anyway, what we do, what I've used in the fly is a size 16 jig hook. Now there's a few out, few out there you could use. There's this one here from Fully Milk called the Jig Force Black, size 16. Uh, the bead is just a tungsten bead, two and a half mil in this size. That suits me. And the uh, thread. Just using a, an olive thread to go with the colour of the fly. It's an 8 olive from Uni. So the first thing I do is run the wax through it. Put down some thread at the front. And what I'm going to do is just take this back and put a wee touch super glue just to hold it. Stops the bead bouncing around while you're tying the fly. I'll do it. So what I'm going to do is take the thread back up, right to the bead. Now I've got some dyed CDC. This is natural CDC. It's quite hard to see. There's been dyed yellow. Now natural CDC is grey. Now when you dye it a yellow, it gives you an, an olive colour. It's a nice natural mix between the grey and the yellow. And this is what you get with these feathers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tip of the feather. I'm going to use the tip for the legs. So it's quite simple, we just nick that away. And then we take the tip off again. And then quite simple. And you tie these on right on the top of the shank, the fibers facing over the eye. Just like that. You don't need many fibres. Secure them in. Trim this away. Tidy that up. We tie the tail in the way down. And it is a simple fly, so it's very simple to tie. I've got some Croc de Leon fibres. This is the white and Croc de Leon. And don't be shy, quite a few. Now if you bring them 90 degrees from the stem, the tips will line up for you. And then tail them away. And then what we're going to do is tie this in. So we'll get our tail length, which is really about shank length. Tie this on the way down. Keep it on top. Now it's stask around the bend, we can come underneath with a turn. Then take the thread towards the eye. And then this allows the fibres to spread out. I like them to open out and fan out. You can see just like that. Remove the waist. Now for the rib of the fly, I'm using this neon thread from uh, Uni, this one here. It's a lovely thread. It's really bright and it shows up. The grail especially like fluorescence, they like this colours. So first thing I'm going to do about is to tidy up. Take the thread up two thirds of the way. Go back to the CDC feather we turn the tip out. Which is there. So what I'm going to do is I'll just turn around the base of the, sh the, the stem of the feather, pull it in, and then as I work down, spread the thread turns out. So you pull the tips in, and keep doing that until we get to the back. So there, and then we can tighten up, take our thread back up. Now you see the, the way, because I've took the tip of the fibres out to form the legs, there's no stem, so what this helps to do is give you a taper. Now I'm going to wind this the opposite way, I wind my, my thread on and my rib, and that will help protect it. So what we do is we just wind up using this like a harrow. Just work our way up, get some sort of taper in the body, cross the thread. Now what you do is you across the material, across your, heart, uh, your feather, with a turn, and then do a turn onto the shank, and do the same again. Do that about three times, and then trim away. These fibres here, we can just draw these fibres back. Now, I'm just going to trim this stem part here. There we are, and now we can bring our rib up through. 
But just watch your tail at this point, just hold the tail fibres. Don't lift it. There we are. Now we're winding up the normal way. Catch this in with three or four turns. Trim. Now I'm going to use a UV, I'm just going to show you. It's a diamond bright dubbing. Now the one I'm using is this one here. It's hairs here. It's a nice colour, it's a colour I like. It's that UV uh, light bright. Or you can, there's quite a lot of dubbins out there. If you don't want to use that, just use a hairs here or uh, an olive dubbing to suit the fly. Now this is it here, so it's quite easy to dub. Let's just lightly dub it on to your thread. Slide it up. Now I like to come right up against the legs. And then what I'm going to do is evenly split the fibres down either side. Just like this. Then I'm going to take some dubbing in front. Check, I've pulled the fibres for the thing. Yeah. There they sit, that's fine. The, the fibres, the CDC fibres are really mobile, they're really nice in the water. See, they haven't, that looks okay. And then what I like to do is get some super glue onto my thread down a bit, see. Just over an inch. I wind one, two, three. So there's some super glue there, and then put finish onto that quickly. And that sets really quick and ties out. I mean, it'll never come loose. And what I'm going to do is just bring out a wee touch of the, the dubbing, just lightly with the Velcro, just let it catch, and then just bring it out. Now your, your fly is going to sit like this. I'll show you what it's going to do in the water. It's going to sit like that. So basically, what it's going to do is fish like down. Uh, the grayling love. You want to get your fly right down to those fish. Uh, you'll catch the grayling if you do that. Now it's a, as I say, it's a simple fly to tie. That's, that's a good thing about them. If you're nymphing for grayling, you do end up you, you tend to lose quite a few flies. And uh, basically, that's it. That's the CDC bodied, uh, it's just an olive pattern, small jig head, it's a good colour combination, uh, works really well. Uh, tie, you can do them in different colours, I've got different colours, CDC, I've got light, dark, medium, all the colours of olive you could think of, even brown, I've got cinnamon works really well too, so it's up to yourself. You can tie them in different styles, this is a my dropper fly, this is one I put slightly further up, I'll show you, it's the same material and uh, same rib, so give you an idea what you can do. I've also used the tips for the, the tail at the back, there's your rib and that's your body. Same dubbing, basically at the front, uh, a wee dollop of, what do you call it, resin, colour then I colour it black. So that's like the, the two, I'd, I'd sometimes I'd fish this in the dropper and this in the point, depending on how deep the water is. Or then obviously like the other night I was this was in the point, this was in the dropper, and this is the, the pair of flies that caught me a few fish. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's a small jig head, uh, all of jig head, so nice pattern. Uh as I say you can do different variants of that and you'll not go far wrong. So I hope you enjoy that and if you like the videos, please subscribe and thank you for watching.